Satan's really picking up. Hey, loons. Hey K6, welcome back to campfire. Got your pajamas on this time. <laughs> Good. All right. So last time at the campfire, we were talking about the moon story and all the brand new ideas he had for me. That's the one where I got stuck and I needed some help, right? And that was a what if kind of story. Like what if the moon fell out of the sky? What if it fell in the middle of the ocean? What if it was made of cheese. And K6 had so many great new ideas to help me out, so I got going again. Now, while I'm finishing that, there is another new story. I'm trying to finish these up. You see, I started them last summer, and K6 was a little busy. I didn't think I'd be that busy. So I didn't think I'd be, be around that long. I just didn't leave. So that's what happened. So the stories are just getting finished now. Yeah. So there's the what if story of the moon. What if, what if, what if. And this one is a once upon a time kind of story. You ready? Once upon a time, there was a prince, Prince Anthony. Prince Anthony lived in Cambridge. You've been there, of course. Prince Anthony's Cambridge. His father lived there, too, of course. His father was the king. Of course the king lives in Cambridge. The king of Cambridge has to live in Cambridge. And the king of Cambridge not only had Cambridge, he actually had three little kingdoms that made up Cambridge. There was the kingdom of Hespler, the kingdom of Galt, and the kingdom of Preston. Preston. Hespler, Galt. Did I get all three? Hmm. It's very complicated having three parts. Needlessly complicated. <sighs> okay, so Prince Anthony someday would be king of all of Cambridge, all the parts. But two things had to happen first. Hey, Loon. Two things had to happen before Anthony could be king. First, Anthony needed to be a little older, like at, at least seven or something. Be a, be a king's a big deal. You get to be king when you're little. Be a little older, and well, the other thing is, Prince Anthony needed to be rescued. Rescued. That's right. He was in terrible danger. The Duke of Galt, the evil and jealous Duke of Galt, had captured Prince Anthony and thrown him in a dungeon. Oh, somebody had to rescue him. The evil Duke of Galt was the king's brother, and he was jealous that Anthony was going to be king. And he thought, oh, I'm going to get that guy. And he put them in the dungeon. The king, of course, was not happy. The king, of course, was sad. The king, of course, was frustrated. The king, of course, was rich. So he offered anyone a fantabulous reward if they could rescue Prince Anthony. I will buy you anything in my kingdom. You may just take the gold if you like, or I will buy you things. I will buy you all the cupcakes in my kingdom and give them to you. If you'll rescue my son, Prince Anthony. 
and bring him back to me so that he can grow up to be king. Hmm. Well, that got people's attention. But first the try was a group of knights, maybe five or six of them or something. And they had beautiful armor and uniforms and swords and they had horses and a flag and everything. And off they went. They got trapped by the Duke of Galt and his bubble gum. Blew up a big bubble. Trapped the brave knights in the bubble gum. And off they went. As far as anyone knows, they're still floating around up there somewhere. There was another group. They were also brave, very, very brave. And they had armor, even better armor, shiny, shiny armor, and beautiful feathers coming out of the top, and and bigger swords, and they didn't have horses, no. They had llamas, llamas, fuzzy llamas. Okay, here they went. And... Nobody knows what happened to them. I don't know. They won't say. They won't stop smiling. I don't know. The other one. The other people to try. Are you ready for this? There's a little girl named Sydney. She's going to be our hero. The little girl named Sydney, and she had three friends that went with her. With Sydney went a monkey with the tongue like a frog, a fish with no eyes, and a three-legged duck. Sydney and her three friends went off that way to go rescue Prince Anthony. And we'll have to wait till next time. And I'll tell you what happens. Watch. Three. One, two, three. Sometimes I feel like a cat Sitting on a neighbor's fence Marveling at those shooting stars Even if they're attached to cars Meow, meow Meow, meow ow. Meow, meow Ouch My heart hurts 